Okay, this is Mitch here. I have an HP Pavilion Core 2 Duo desktop. It will not boot up to Vista. It's got uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 320 gig hard drive. And I was given this PC the other day, and after numerous attempts to get it to boot up with a, a restored DVD to fix, I downloaded a different restore Vista disk, and this, the other one would, would only show one partition, not two. This one shows both, both the recovery partition and the Vista partition, and I, I chose to boot up to, uh, to repair the Vista operating system. And here is, I don't know if you can see, this is what I suspected all along. Boot manager is corrupt. Now I wanted to get it into the uh, command line option to possibly repair, try to run BCD, boot co configuration data to rebuild the uh, the bootloader. And I can't even get in the F uh, the F11 option. You know, uh, I might be able to get it to now with this with this. I guess updated version of uh, recovery disk. I don't. I'm. I'm not sure why this one worked. The other ones didn't. But um, this is at least tell me it, it tried to fix it. And now let me let me uh, go a little further. I cloned the drive, and and that worked. The clone actually worked, although I could not boot up to the OS. The recovery partition worked, and I was able to reinstall Vista, do a clean install from the recovery partition. Because the customer, they, they did not, they didn't care about the data at all. Although, booting up to a Linux CD, I, I did get the data uh, pictures off. There's no problem seeing the data. So, <clears throat> I ran, also ran, C Tools boot CD. It did find errors on a short and long test. And I do have SpinWrite, but I wanted to try to clone the drive before I use SpinWrite, just in case it could possibly kill the drive. Anyway, um. So it looks like I got a little farther with this recovery uh, Vista disk. And I'm going to see what happens when I reboot right now. Uh, actually, actually, well, let's see what happens. Because uh, when it was booting before, all we would get was a blue screen, not a stop error, a blue screen with a mouse pointer that I could move, either boot into Vista or boot into the recovery console. The same thing, I couldn't, couldn't get to it. And various attempts to use a recovery Vista CD didn't work either, although this one, uh, this updated version or downloaded version, I'm, I'm not sure why this one has let me get a little further. Let's see what happens. All right, I want to see if it fixed anything. And then I'll go back into recovery console if I uh, can't get any further again. By the way, I am recording this with my Droid X. This thing is awesome. There's the original hard drive. There's the clone drive that's working. I got it all updated. But I would like to see if I could possibly fix the original. And I'm not sure if I can. If it's if it's showing sector errors. What gets me? Why is it not giving me the option to get in the command line? Um, well, I'll try it again. Alright, that's where it hangs, right there. See, I can move the mouse pointer. I suspect that the sector got bad where the boot letter is, which is supposed to be in a certain I think beginning of the hard drive, like the first two billion bytes or something like that. <sighs> Maybe that's corrupt there. Not sure. Or right, let me reboot this. See, this was just 
Just this will just hang. All right, let's let's try it again. Also, uh, let's try to go to recovery the uh, F11 option to recover Vista HP recovery um, F11 option, which is right there to recover the system, and I'll get the same thing. Or let's see. Oop! I'm, I hit the wrong thing. In F E eleven, not not F ten. Come on, I don't want to make the make a huge video here. All right, la launch, start up, repair. Let's see what happens. And I'm, I've been getting the same thing, the blue screen with the mouse pointer. Not a stop error. In order for me to fix that bootloader, I'm going to have to get in some kind of command line. If I can't get anything to boot up to a command line, how am I going to fix it? It's all a learning experience for me. Let's see, uh, there's the infamous blue screen, just with the mouse pointer. No, no other options whatsoever. Now, I, I've let it go on for 45 minutes, so I'm not going to let it go any more than this. So, let's go one more, let me boot it one more time with the, uh, DVD recovery disc. and see what happens again when I try to use it. Uh, I, guess I, I guess I should feel pretty lucky that I was able to clone it and get it to work, but... This is going to be more than 10 minutes, and YouTube doesn't like more than 10 minute videos. Um, so I'm going to stop this one here. I'll be right back.